I'm picking, the Minnesota, is, I'm picking the Minnesota Vikings to beat the Packers. And it's, it's just that time that something like this is ha- going to happen. Love or Willis. I don't I don't think there's been one they've said either way. I, we've we sung Willis' praises. We've also sung Sam Darnold's praises. Yeah. Houston was supposed to be a good pass defense. Sam Darnold carved him up. Packers are supposed to have a good defense. They haven't really faltered much. I mean, outside of Philly first game of the year, whatever. But they caused like three turnovers that game and still lost. So that defense has not really like faltered, the defense. This feels like a time where they would get caught. Maybe they're looking ahead. Oh, maybe we're playing for Jordan Love to come back. I don't know. I just like it. I want the Vikings. I mean, money line plus for one. My, from my standpoint, God, I hope you're right. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I like actually, it. I still, as the pessimistic Viking fan that I am, right. I still don't think they're going to win this game. But this game, to me, even at three and zero, and I'm, I got the excuse lined up already. Like, no, it's three and zero. I mean, we're three and one. Big deal. Uh, we play them later. We'll beat them later in the year if we don't. Right. Win. But. For me, with the Vikings and the Vikings history, whenever they go to Lambeau and they're playing decent or well like they are now, it's a measuring stick game to see if they are for real in probably every Vikings fan's head. Uh, Just being honest, like I'm not going to give up on them if they lose, but if they go into Lambeau, and the Packers are a good team. They're 2-1. and They've won two games without Malik, without their starting quarterback. Like they are a good team. And – if they go win that game, I mean, God, I, I will be, I will come on here and be so <laughs> all in. It's ridiculous. But till then, I can't wait for that. 